Hello students, in this video I will discuss one Turing machine problem that is to design a Turing machine for the language L is equal to A to the power N, B to the power N, C to the power N where the value of N is greater than or equal to 1. For this particular language, the PDA is not capable to do this. Why? Because in this one certain comparisons needs to be done. That is, if there is only a single comparison that needs to be done, then we can solve the problem with the help of the PDA. Okay. So PDA is able to compare only one thing. But if there are more than one comparison that needs to be done, then it cannot be done with the help of the PDA. So we have to take a Turing machine for this one. Now what is the logic in this one? The logic is same like we did in the previous video that is uh, design a Turing machine for L is equal to A n B n. So we have the same logic in this one that is we read this A first, change it to X, move to the right, find the B, change it to Y, move to the right, find the C, change it to Z. So we have certain comparisons, more than one comparisons that, that needs to be done in this one and we will do this. Okay, So let us take uh, n is equal to 2 in this case and then design a tape and the tape that we have is we have say if n is equal to 2 we have a a b b c c. Okay, So I will make some cells here and in the cells we have certain blanks also. Okay, and the read right here is currently on to the first day. Okay, so let us design this Turing machine. So I am at state Q naught initially and the element to read is A. So what the logic says, we have to read this A and change this to X. Why changing to X? Just because we need to show that we have processed this particular A. So I will change it to X that means this A has been processed. Change it to Y means this B has been processed. Change C to Z means uh, this C has been processed. Okay. So what I will do, uh, at Q0 the element to read is A. So we have A, element to read is A and then what we do, we have to change this A to X. I will change it to X and move on to the right direction. So this A will be changed to X and the pointer will now point on to the next day. Now we are done with the A. Now I need a pair for A. That is I need a B for A. I need a C for A. Okay. So I will again skip every A and I will go in the right direction and search for the B. Then again go in the right direction search for the C. So I am at Q0. I found A. I change it to X and move on to the right direction and the pointer is now pointing on to the next day and we reached on some state say Q1. At Q1 my work with A has been done. Now this time I have to skip all the A's. So here I will take a self loop that is A should be A and move on to the right direction. So this, this A has been left as it is and move on to the right direction and the pointer will now point on to the right side that is this b now okay now this b has should be changed to y because we have found a pair for x okay so what i'll do i'll move forward find the b change it to y move to the right direction like uh, if we go that uh, go to the previous uh, video where we were doing for a and b n then we did in at this part we did b y l y because our work till b was done and now i have to go back to a but in this one my work is not done i have to go to find the c also okay so i'll change this b to y and move on to the right direction so the pointer will now point on to the next b and i have reached q2 now Okay, so at Q2, I am finding a B. So this B, my work with B has been done. So I have to leave this B as it is. So I will take a self loop. This B should be B and move on to the right direction. So this B will be left as it is and the pointer will now point on to the next C. So I, I, I now found the C. So this C should be changed to Z and now work with C has been done in the string I do not have anything now I should not go on to the right direction I should go on to the left direction why because I do not have anything to, to do in the right direction so I will now come back to the previous x only so I will take a left turn so one cycle has been done now okay one cycle is done now I will come back to the initial state only to complete the second cycle okay so I will take some state here say q3 and CZL, the C has been changed to Z and the pointer is now pointing on to this B. Now everything that comes in the way, I should leave everything as it is. So I will take a self loop here. What I am finding? I am finding a B first of all. So B should be B, go to the left. And then what I am finding? I am finding a Y. So Y should be Y, go to the left. After leaving the Y, what I am finding? 
I'm finding A. So A should be A go to the left side. So now I'll point my pointer to this X now. And with X, I'll come to the initial state that is Q0, which means X. If you find X, leave it as X and go on to the right direction. So now one cycle has been done. I'll now start with the second cycle and the pointer with this move will point this A and the machine is at Q0. Okay. So at Q0, machine knows that if you find A, you should change it to X. So machine knows that this A has to be changed to X and go to the right direction to find the pair for this X that is B and C. Okay, so A has been changed to X and move on to the right direction. So now my pointer points to this Y now. Okay, so we have now Y in this one. So at Q1, we don't have a move for Y, we have a move for B. So here only I'll take a, on the self loop only, I'll take a move for Y. That is Y should be Y and move on to the right direction. So I'll skip this Y. First of all, I'll skip all these A's, then I'll skip this Y and then what I'll find? I'll find a B here only. This B, that is machine knows here, B should be changed to Y and move on to the right direction. So this B, this pointer will now come here. This B will be changed to Y and move on to the right direction and the machine will go on to state Q2 and the pointer will now point on to this Z now. Okay. Now at Q2, we don't have a move for Z. We have a move for C, we have a move for B. But what I'm finding here, I'm finding a Z here. So I'll take a move for Z. That is Z should be Z and move on to the right direction because I don't have anything to do with the Z now. I need this C and this C needs to be changed to Z. So the pointer will now point on to this C at Q2. So at Q2, machine knows that if you find C, change it to Z. So I'll change this C to Z and I will take a left turn and the pointer will now point on to this Z now at Q3. So at Q3, I have to skip B, I have to skip Y, I have to skip A. But what I'm finding right now, I'm finding a Z also. Therefore, I should take a move for Z also. Z should be Z and move on to the left direction. So this Z will be skipped, this Y will be skipped. And as soon as I find this X, I'll come back to the initial state at Q0 and I'll take a right turn that is find this X, take a right turn and the pointer will now point on to this Y. Now, if it is pointing on to the Y and not to the A, that means the string is ended now. That is A has been ended now. Okay. Now I'll go forward and I'll check whether Y is also ended or not. If Y is ended, I'll go forward. I'll check for whether Z is ended or not. And then finally I will terminate. Okay. So at Q0, the pointer is on the Y and I don't have a move for Y. Okay. That means A has been ended. Now I should check for Y. So here onwards, I'll check for Y. That is Y should be Y and move to the right direction. So this, uh, this first Y is skipped and we move on to the next Y. Now we can have several Y's here. So I'll take a uh, new state, say Q3, we have Q4 here. So at this point, I'll take a self loop that is Y should be Y and move to the right direction. So all these Y's are skipped and we have got this Z now. Now that means Y is ended. It is clear now. Now I will go to check for Z now. That is if any more C's are left or not. Okay. Uh, so I should not get any C here since I haven't got A here. So I should not get B. I should not get C. So here I'm checking for y that is i am not finding any b here i am not finding any c here okay so i'll take a move for b, uh, y and z only and not for b and c if it is b and c then i should go this way that is if i'm finding a then i should find b then i should find c if i'm not finding a i'm finding y then i should not find b i should not find c okay so this y will be skipped and then what i encounter i'm encountering z so this z should be Z and move on to the right direction. So this Z will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to the next Z. So I'll reach on to some state, say Q5 at Q5 because I can have several Z's. So I'll take a self loop that is Z comma Z comma R and the pointer will now point on to this B and that means there are no C's 
all the c's are done all the b's are done all the uh, all the sorry a's are done so now what i'm finding i'm finding a blank this blank should be blank only and either go on to the left side or go on to the right side doesn't matter we will go to some state say q6 which is your final state and the pointer will now point on this b if i take bbl here and the pointer will point this c since i've taken bbr so the pointer will point on to this b and we are done okay so uh, if uh, i ask you to write the transition function for this one also then how will you write it so i'll write uh, the the delta for every uh, move that we have taken here so how many moves we have taken we have taken this move we have taken these two moves this move these two moves this one these four this one this one this one this one this one and this one so i'll write delta for everyone okay so i'll not write delta for everyone here i'll write for only few how to write the delta for this one so i'll tell you how to write this one that is for this one i'm writing q naught i'll write it here only that is i'll take delta q naught so left hand side is the input so q naught the input is a so we have q naught comma a okay and where i'm going I am going on state, uh, right side is this A, I am reaching on state, suppose I am reaching at Q1 and this A has been changed to X and I am moving on to the right side, okay, that is I am at state Q0, input applied is A, reached on Q1, the uh, A has been changed to X and we are moving on to the right side. Similarly, if I do for this one, suppose I do for this one, I will write delta, that is q it is q1 and the input is this one that is a and where i'm going i'm going on q1 only so i'll write q1 and what is the output output is a comma a and the read right hand direction will be r i'll write q1 comma a comma r so we are done for this one if i write for this one how i will write delta we are starting at state q1 comma the input is b so i'll write b here and where i'm going i'm reaching at state q2 and this b has been changed to y so i'll write y here and the read right head direction is r so i'll write r here so in this way i can define all the deltas in the turing machine whatever we have okay so thank you so much